Uh, have you ever been in a situation where you don't really know what's next for you, but you know something good is about to come up and it's your choice and you made it? I think John Paul Sartre talks about that. He calls it like, we're condemned to be free, right? In those moments when you when you can be yourself and you can put yourself out into the world, it's terrifying, right? Because you're without those supports. You're without that stuff that you think that makes you who you are, right? Um, maybe in my case, it's teacher. Maybe it's mentor. Maybe it's a writer. Maybe it's uh, whatever I am. Messy, creative, quirky guy cisgendered gay man, whatever it is. But those are all like props, right? That we kind of hold on to. Uh, Sartre calls it like living in bad faith when you're only your role. When you when you only perform who you are societally, I guess. Or when you only perform who you are in terms of like your social role. Like the waiter at a cafe, who's only a waiter. And he cannot even step out of his waiter role even when he's being them himself. I read some anecdotal story about like the royal family, the British royal family, and someone fantasized like, I wonder what Prince William and King Charles and all those people are like when they're behind closed doors. Maybe they're just exactly how they are in public. Maybe they just live in bad faith. I don't know. I mean, not that you can't have the same public persona that is your private persona, I guess. But I guess it depends on, I don't know, anyway. But like, for example, I'm a teacher, but is that really who I am? I'm a mentor, but is that really who I am? And then of course that brings up the essential question. Who am I? Where am I going? And um, why does that matter? You know, <laughs> uh, anyway. Did I just make any sense? Listen, I told you I was living in the unknown. It's kind of weird and scary. I hope you're doing well. Bye.